Good morning, Oxbow Creek, and welcome back to, uh, boy, what's going to start to be March here real soon. We've got the word integrity for the month of March. Ah, oh, what a great word, integrity, and becoming a person of integrity. And one of the most related words to that is honesty. And it is indeed true, honesty is the best policy, and I hope you get a chance to talk about that today. I do have a lot of opportunities with students in my uh, office to talk about whether they're telling me the truth. It always makes sense and it always makes it better to tell the truth right from the start. Lying is never going to be a good good option in just about any situation. And the sooner we learn that, the better. So honesty truly is the best policy. Well, I've got my hat on. I've got my tie on. Um, we're going to be celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday here. Yep, there's the cat in the hat, too. We're going to be celebrating him on March 2nd is his birthday. We already had our books and bagels last week, and I want to thank all of you. It was a great event. I thought the book swap was excellent. We're going to have a lot of books left over that we can um, give to kids who don't have books to read. So that's really a great way to do that. And that's why the two-for-one on the tickets with the books is really a great, it's kind of a generous thing that you're doing, students, in giving some of your books to kids who don't otherwise have books at home like that. So that's fantastic. And congratulations, and read a good Dr. Seuss book uh, in honor of Dr. Seuss's birthday on March 2nd as well. I do have some students here to talk about integrity a little bit and honesty. Let's let them get their word in. Hey, how'd you break your arm? I got a fat tiger. Have honesty. What's honesty? Telling the truth. Oh. Well, I guess I should say that I broke my arm in gymnastics, even though that's less cool than getting in a fight with a tiger. Mm -hmm. Thank you, student leadership team. It's always nice to hear from you guys. Last week I told you about that essay contest. If any are you interested in writing an essay about kindness, that was a pretty good award that they're giving as well. Remember those directions are down here in the office, so any of you aspiring writers, uh, give it a shot. It's a, it's a great opportunity for you. And I wanted to announce there's another one that was just sent to me. This is another poster contest. The details are going to be down in the office this week, students. Again, anybody who's interested, we actually had a winner in this. If, if it wasn't last year, it was maybe two years ago. Um, there are going to be three winning prizes of $50, so if you're an aspiring artist, this is about clean drinking water, and the phrase clean drinking water starts with me. So if you want to enter another poster contest, any of you who are interested, we'll have the paper down here as well as the directions, and we'll send those in for you as well. So those entries are due, I believe, yeah, by March 3rd, so we don't have much time. You basically have about a one-week turnaround on this, so... Um, Make sure that you stop down in the office if you're interested in taking part in that poster contest. And it's the week of the expo. We're thrilled with that, students. I hope you brought your projects in today. If you didn't, bring them in by Tuesday at the latest because we're going to be setting up all the projects throughout the school. I hope to get to see and read every single one of them. It's such a great time for you to show your brilliance. Thanks for all who are participating. I haven't heard the final numbers yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing that as well. And then on Thursday night, it's our celebration. We've got all those productions, uh, the performances going both in the gym and the cafeteria. The, the hardest thing is you can't be in two places at once because I want to see everything and everyone and what they're doing. But let me just thank you up front for all the work that you did in getting ready for this. And It's a celebration of brilliance. It really is. It's fantastic. Speaking of brilliance, I have a couple of kids here to celebrate. Allie's one of our kindergartners. Come on up here, Al. It says here that Callie is, Allie, I almost said the wrong word, Allie is wild about learning. She comes to school eager to learn, always tries her best, puts forth effort and challenges herself. She pays attention and participates. Uh, she's kind and helpful, and we are lucky to have her in our class. That's coming straight from Ms. Egan's class. Congratulations. I love your shirt, too. There you are. David, one of our second graders, 2KH. This guy shines in his commitment to learning department. He is always motivated to do his very best, even taking on challenges cheerfully. He independently searches out information because he's so excited about his learning. Way to go. I love your shirt, too. Kind is cool. Justice, one of our third graders. Congratulations, buddy. He shows that he's wild about learning when he's working alone or with a partner. He's sharing his thinking, commenting on others, and working in small groups. When he's working alone, he can be seen talking through the steps and parts he wants to include in his written work. He is wild about improving and doing his best. You keep that up, that's always going to serve you well. Ms. Carlson's very proud of you. Congratulations. Well, I believe those are the announcements. Kids, come on over here. Let's see if these jokes are funny. You guys join me, all right? I have a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Who's there is right. Ho-pen. Ho-pen. 
open who? Open the door and let me in. <laughs> this one is which does a hamburger walk? Which dog does a hamburger walk? A hot dog. <laughs> That's from Natalie in one PE. And then Miss Gosser shared a couple of them. I like these as well. What's a tape what's a teacher's favorite country? Explanation. Explanation. Why does it take pirates so long to learn the alphabet? Well, it's because they spend years at sea. And they never get past sea. And then finally, which state is the smartest? Alabama. It's not Minnesota. It's Alabama. They have four A's and one B. That's a pretty good report card. Those are the jokes for the week. Everybody have a great week, and we'll see you at Expo Thursday night.